Hello everyone, Tim Harridge here. It is a good day. I want to real quick go over with you how to create a blog on DFWinvestors.com and just kind of help you understand how it can help you and your business and uh, can help the website, which I hope helps you as well. So what we'll do here is we will just hop to the internet Go to the website, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my account. Now, my account will look a little bit different than yours because if you're watching this video, you're either a vendor or a sponsor. So once you log on, you see the home page and the different options and featured posts, etc. So I want to draw your attention to the blog section. And I'm going to view the web page as a level two member, which is a vendor. So what I do is I go here to resources, blogs, and podcasts. Now, I already have access to several blogs on the site because I'm the creator of the blog. I can come down here into open comments. The way I see it, which is the main blog that I run, and since I'm already a blogger there, I can come here to your blog. It takes me to my blog. And this is the DFWinvestors.com event. So it, take, it takes me there. I want to go ahead and back up. I'm going to have to go in here to blogs and podcast again. Come down to the way I see it. And this is my primary blog and I want to post a blog entry. It may not let me in since I'm not acting as myself right now. Okay, it's not going to let me in, so what I'm going to do is open up the video blog I did yesterday. Now this is real simple, this video blog concept. And I'll show you how to do that too. So I go to new post because this is my blog, this is a blog that I'm authorized to post in. Now, if you want to record a video blog, you would click here and it will load the recording mechanism or you can take any video that you have recorded and upload it here in this tag. So I wrote this blog earlier and wanted to just show you guys how I do it. So I wrote this blog about the Dow Jones. Now I, I write my blogs in words in, in Microsoft Word, and I just copy the whole thing. But then the trick is when you go back into the DFWinvestors.com portal, you see the link here where it says "Paste from Word." What happens when you paste from Word if you don't click on this link is it put some formatting in there and the, and the blog just doesn't look right and it's harder for the users to read so most likely they click off of it and go to one that isn't hard to read. So I just paste my blog there into Microsoft Word. I hit insert Okay, 
it's not letting me do it because I am masking. So it's it's telling me that I'm not who I think I am. Uh, so anyway, you, you get back in here. I'll just fly through this real quick. And the thing about a blog, you go to a new post. The thing about a blog is you, you've got to use keywords. The keywords will help the site get found. And when the site is found, what happens is you just you, you're able to expose yourself to more of an audience. See here's my title, so I just drag that up into there. And now if you noticed in my in my Microsoft Word blog, I have images inserted. I do that so that I can kind of look at the, the look and feel. Well now what I do when I'm inside the DFWinvestors.com is I come down here to the first where I had the first image at. It's real simple. You just come here to insert image. And now what I'm going to do is create a new folder. I've got all kinds of images in here and, and you guys can do this too. We'll just call this blog. I've got my blog folder. Just double click on that. And now I want to upload some pictures to the blog folder. I just choose my files. I've already got them here saved on my desktop under blog, DAO, and DAO2. Open. Upload to server. Shouldn't take that long. Now they've uploaded. So the first image was DAO2. Just double click on that real quick. And it inserts it in for me. So what I want to do is resize it. The easiest way to do that is to click on the picture and then go here to insert edit image and you see these little white boxes that's where you can just click and drag and resize the picture just to get it to where it's not too big and that the readers can actually see the picture. So now that picture's in there. I come down here to where my next picture was and just now it's a lot more simple. I just click on insert image and now I go straight to the blog folder and I was going to use this dial image just real quick double click. Now again this image is huge so you click on it you find these little white boxes that are used to resize it. And I was just kind of click on them to make sure they're about the right size. There you go. So now I've got my images. I've got my title, I've got my subject, now I'm going to come down, and this is going to be the main image for, the, for this blog posting. So I'm going to click there, and we'll go over here into pictures, and I like to just make this uh, different logos, different pictures. Uh, you, you can really do all kinds of things. Uh, I'll just put a picture of myself on there. Now, keywords tags. This is the money, the gold mine. We've gotten 15 new members this week because of the blogging I've been doing. So, you type in real estate, comma, investing, comma, buy and hold. Foreclosure is probably top, top. Uh, uh, a um, popular search. Uh, 
owner financing. Cash for houses. REO. Everyone wants a HUD house. All right, RIAs, Investor Club. And if you guys can do this with me, what will happen is you will start to get huge hits on the website. We'll get more members. And when we get more members, we can grow this thing and you guys will build your business. So, if, I mean, if you're a real estate investor club, you want to type real estate investor club, Duncanville, DeSoto, Dallas, Arlington. Uh, use the keywords. If you're a uh, general contractor, you want to put general contractor in these keywords. Things that will make people come to your blog because when they come to your blog, they're going to read your blog and when they read it, they're going to assume that you are a subject matter expert and they will contact you for your services that you can provide them. If you're a wholesaler, write a blog on wholesaling. All right, guys, that's it. I just wanted to, uh, I'm going to hit send email notification. Uh, try not to do this if there's been an email or two sent out from the website already that day. Uh, we just, uh, you know, I try not to spam people's inboxes. Uh, so that's that. I mean, it, the, the blog has been posted. It's now out there. It's part of the search results. And uh, it will continue to build this membership base. And, uh, guys, this, uh, this website is... Uh, it's about networking and building a membership base. So do me a favor, just uh, try to create a blog if you're on here as a vendor and a sponsor. It's very needed and it will definitely help. So uh, till next time, Tim Harrod, we'll talk to you all later.